Good morning. It's Tuesday. We're almost a week round since I last saw you. And holy moly, there's been a lot of change in my little, uh, my windowsill seedlings. Um, it's a miserable day outside right now. I'm not sure if you can see. That's wind and rain, which I mean, isn't misery for me. I kind of really like it that way. But I gotta go to work and um, <laughs> no one wants to shop in this kind of weather. Anyway, point being, let's get to the plants. Look at these babies. Woohoo! Alrighty, starting over on the left hand side. These are my lupins. Doing very well. Look how tall they're getting. Nice and tall. Sweet pea is on the rise, as it does. Nice. This over here, ooh, I've forgotten what you were already. Ah oh, yes, Catananch, pardon me. I'm so sorry, my daddy. Catananch, doing just fine, looking sturdy, looking green. And these are my Cerinthes that I actually had in the other room. Um, kept them in a, I had them germinate in a little plastic bag, a little Ziploc bag. And uh, that made me feel pretty happy right now. I had to take them out of the bag, obviously, because uh, they were getting a bit too tall and hitting the roof. So, very exciting. Oh yeah, check this out. Clary, doing very well over here. Lots of little seedlings coming up. Very happy. Even the hollyhocks, look at these guys. Excitement in hollyhock land. <laughs> Uh, I wasn't expecting much from over here, to be honest, but very good, very good. Still nothing much happening with the Aquilegia, maybe because I've done it wrong, I don't know, we'll find out. And Lavender Town, some secret little quiet, quiet happenings in my lavender pot. Very good. I've never had success with lavender, so this will be, this will be something good. And then holy dahlias. Uh, yeah, I've never grown dahlias before either, but look at these, look at it, like, this is, look how tall they are. That's, I mean, that's something. That, this happened in just a matter of days, not even the full week round, just in a few days, they went from nothing to a hundred. Amazing. And still quiet with my helibores, but that's fine. These guys over here are a lot happier now that I've given them some air. Holy moly. Delphinium, uh, still quiet and slow, but I mean, not bad. Let's see you guys over here. That's fine, take your time. Hollyhocks, another set of hollyhocks doing okay. Cerinthi over here. Uh, yeah, I did something different there and I'm, uh, I'm not sure that was the smartest plan. Not to worry, we have the backups. And, ooh, these are my antirhinums, which are snapdragons, in case you don't recognize that name. Snapdragons, it's gonna be a whole load of them for this summer, and I'm very happy. Look over here, some more, oops, some more lavender. One pot's doing fine, and the other one's, um, not a lot happening, so that's fine. Again, we've got the backups. And then over here, falling apart, <laughs> some poppy. Maybe we might have some poppies. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. But uh, yeah, that's how that's going. So overall, I am uh, I'm pretty impressed. I'm not gonna get too cocky though, because when that starts to happen, that's when everything collapses and dries out and, and freaks out on you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I I think this was good. I really really did a splurge of getting a whole bunch of different types of seeds and just kind of throwing them in the soil and see what happens. Um, and I think when you're starting out, that's probably the best, well, I say that. I think it was a good idea for me to do um, because I'm learning different methods for germination and who needs what kind of soil, who wants to be covered, who doesn't, and, and which ones need lots of sunlight, which ones need to be in the dark. and and all that kind of thing. So uh, I'm learning a lot very quickly. And uh, it's a fun little experiment. Anyway, I gotta get to work. So I will see you next week. Bye.